Good morning. Did you know that God keeps a journal about you? He does. I don't know if you like to journal. I journal almost every single day. And um, it's a way for me to really pull back into rest and, um, and hear God's voice. It slows me down. I write my journal with my hand, so it takes a minute for every word to come out in ink. And um, it, it brings me to this place of rest that I kind of have been talking about in Psalm 23 in, in green pastures by still waters. That's where it takes me when I slow down not furiously typing because I have to get a report done, not um, you know, speaking quickly because I have to fit in what I'm trying to say within 60 seconds worth of time, but I slow down and I'm able to really hear what God's saying to my heart. He hears what we're saying to other people about him and I think you know it, I know it, but did you know that he cares so much about it that he keeps a journal, he keeps a remembrance, he writes, angels write about what we're saying. If what we're saying is important enough for angels to write about it, for God to write about it, don't you think that we should write about him? I kind of do, but I'm partial to it. Let me read to you what it says in Malachi. Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. And it says in Psalm 34, verse 15, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. He hears us. He hears me. He hears you when we cry to him. You know, what is it this morning that you, you need to say to the Lord? What is it this morning that you need to hear from the Lord? You know, just like we enjoy hearing from him, he enjoys hearing from us so much so that he takes notes on what we're saying. Um, I think that's kind of a big deal. He loves us. I wanna read Psalm 23 to you again today because this is where my spirit goes when I'm taking notes about God. By still waters, I become refreshed. And, and this is like a, um, a narrative of what happens when, when you slow yourself down, open the Bible, read a few verses, pick up a pen and start to write. Maybe you write a love note to God. Maybe you write a love story about God. Maybe you write what he's saying to your heart today. But I wanna encourage you today, <clears throat> write to him. And remember, he is the bread of life and he's preparing a table for us in the presence of our enemies. He blows my mind with his goodness every single day. <clears throat> this is from the Passion Translation, Psalm 23. The Lord is my best friend and my shepherd. I always have more than enough. <coughs> he offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His tracks take me to an oasis of peace, the quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me pathways to God's pleasure and leads me along his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Lord, even when your path takes me through the valley of deepest darkness, fear will never conquer me for you 
already have. You remain close to me and lead me through it all the way. Your authority is my strength and peace. The comfort of your love takes away my fear. I'll never be lonely for you are near. You become my delicious feast. Even when my enemies dare to fight, you anoint me with the fragrance of your Holy Spirit. You give me all I can drink of you until my heart overflows. So why would I fear the future? For I'm being pursued only by your goodness and unfailing love. Then afterwards, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence to be with you forever. And that's <clears throat> more familiar maybe to you um, in the NIV or in the um, New King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Thank you, Lord, that I lack nothing because you're my shepherd. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. Thank you, Jesus, for your rest beside quiet waters, your rest for my soul. Even when I'm in the middle of a battle, I can find rest for my soul because of your love, Jesus. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And if you remember last year, I was all over Psalm 91. And if you are walking through the darkest valley right now, go and read Psalm 91 for yourself. God is your protector. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your oil. And thank you, Father God, that you are showing favor on us right in the presence of our enemies. My cup overflows. Thank you, Lord, that you give me so much that my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's going to be a great day.